Hey, what is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson D4 and today people I'll be playing Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. Hopefully you guys enjoy this PC game. And yes, this is gonna be my first video for this, you know, PC adventure. I'm hoping to expand pretty soon. Um this is not the only game I'll be showing this week, I'm pretty sure um, but this time I'll have set up different games this whole week just to see you know what you guys really enjoy either shooters simulation games strategy games you know I'll try to keep it interesting as much as possible so you guys can kind of see how I evolve in the PC genre because I don't play PC I don't not use to mouse and keyboard at all and you'll see a lot about that in this whole video because it's a shooter game it's a first person shooter game and this is my way to test out how I am with the first person shooters and um, you know we're just going against the, the the CPU we're not going up against no one this is not multiplayer this is just a single campaign where I'm just leading an army and try to see how much money I can raise and how big of an army I can raise and also how many towns I can take over if this video does get enough enough likes um, I'll probably continue the story but as for now if it doesn't get anything I mean I'll just do it as a test just to see where I am on first-person shooters with the mouse and keyboard so this is just a test but like I, like I said, if it does get enough support, I'll continue the story. So anyways, let's start off a new campaign and let's see how this game is going. Because last time I played this thing, it didn't have any of this. I actually bought this game on Early Access and it was quite interesting because it is so similar to Mountain Blade. For those of you guys who are familiar with that game, it's pretty much just race an army and conquer the whole damn map. So it's pretty much fun. So uh, let's see. Uh, why did you come to this continent? I was recruiting an army, I was retired, blah blah, various reason. Uh who came here with a few troops and search for yeah, search that one. What experience have you had before? Middle school gym teacher, trained security guard. Oh my god, a delivery man who was good at running. Really? You good at running away? A <laughs> thief. Enthusiastic intern nurse, no hell no. Vice president of a student union, intelligent shooting athlete. I'll say that one because of Call of Duty, <laughs> but uh, I, don't, I don't think it's going to translate over to the freaking PC right now. What are your hobbies while well, hunting, weight room training, climbing, hiking, socializing, making friends, reading historical books and biography literature, rain shooting? Rain shooting, why not? What do you think is the most important factor in winning a war? Excellent combat skills, perfect teamwork, reliable logistics, careful tactics, strong economic support. Well, um, in winning a war... You gotta have some teamwork. This is something that I always complain about in Rainbow Six Siege and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Literally my whole team is like running in circles and I don't know playing tic-tac-toe on the ground or something and they're lost. They're always lost and I always complain about teamwork. So this is something that we actually do need. I usually rely on, on, on tactics on myself on solo you know but the rest of the team what the hell are they doing? So it's perfect teamwork. That's the only way you can win a whole war. You spotted a group of enemies on top of the mountains. They haven't noticed you yet. What would you do? Shoot directly and neutralize the opponent with superior fire. This is this is the idiotic way. This is what everybody does in PUBG or any battle royale mode. You're by yourself in the middle of the of the, of the battlefield, and you just shoot at like random three people, and they shoot you back. What did you expect was gonna happen? One versus three. So uh, you see a lot of that in like in, um, in PUBG and. You know, Apex Legends also, like, this is something that, that an idiot does. Shoot actively from a far distance, maybe, charge the enemies and engage in close quarter combat. This is something that I do, actually. <laughs> so, this this actually labels me pretty much well. Use guerrilla tactics, engage and run, call for reinforcements and try to encircle the enemy. So, yeah, it's actually, I, I do like a mix of these two. Lay an ambush on the path of the enemy. I guess I'll just... Use guerrilla tactics, why not? The war is spreading into your village. What would you do first? Buy some firearms, sell everything. Uh, what? Why would you sell everything before? <laughs> Plunder nearby villages in chaos. What? Gather militias and put up a fight against the invaders. Lead all the villagers to escape. Train the villagers and prepare them to defend. Try to persuade the enemy commander and stop the attack. What am I, man? I'm not a pacifist. I train the villagers, really. Okay, so now we can select a faction name and a faction logo. We can actually be a cat. That's actually the first time I noticed that ever because when I had this game on early access, I remember they only had like a four or four flags and I think it was like these four or something like that. All these rest of these other flags are new, especially the cat. In no way in hell will be the cat. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Maybe I should add it for comedic value, but 
no, uh, I'll pass, man. Let's call ourselves this, or uh, what, what should we choose, really? Uh, we can be the scorpions, black scorpions, black. Oh, you know what? Why not? The black and yellow. For those of you guys who were in school, in middle school, and in, uh, in 2006, you should know that this song was very popular. So, um, yeah, black, the black and yellow brigade. Actually, let's put the brigade. Boom. There we go. That's how we sound super menacing now. With the longest title, the longest faction title, and call it Brigade at the end. I think, is it Crusaders or Brigade? I don't know. The Black and Yellow Brigade. Why not? What does Brigade even mean? Anyways, let's choose our name. Let's call them. Uh, what should we call them? I don't know, really. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Taco. Char. How do you spell Charlton? Charleston? Taco Charleston, why not? Because all these other ones look like I'm part of a boy band. Like I'm about to sing. And, and this is not about singing. This is literally a war. A game about war. I don't know who decided on all these styles. But they are horrible. I'll just choose this one, man. Because it makes me look psycho. Threatening looking? Or you want to make it like a like a fashion show or something? I don't know. Alright, so here we are. This is the map. This is the map where you can travel all around the map. And you can visit camps. You can also take on looter camps. But we don't have a big of an army yet. We got at least half. You see right there it says like 7 uh, raiders, 11 looters, 7 bandits. That's a big army. That's a total of freaking 25 people in that little camp. So we got at least to recruit like 40 or something. Because I know there's like a bunch of looters roaming around the area too. So um, we want to take over that and steal all their possessions. We got to raise an army. Okay, so let's check our inventory. Maybe we do have something good. We only started with a pistol. What's up with this? We usually started with a primary gun. Huh, that's a first. Wow. Oh, look, we can actually assign stuff. Uh, leadership, intelligence. Let's add a little bit of intelligence just to like level up as fast as possible. Uh, stamina. Alright, I'll add that. Constitution and Intelligence are my primary right now. Uh, commands. In each point increases the amount of squads you can deploy by three. We really don't have enough for that. We can increase the inventory. Uh, the looting, of course. We need looting. Because why not? We need to steal a lot of stuff like in the beginning right away. Yeah, we need that. Steal and looting is the first thing I usually increase on these kind of games because... With, with like starting like how we are right now with just a pistol, it's not gonna save us quite good <laughs> amount of time. So let's increase that. Let's increase the rifle, of course, because we, I know I'm gonna buy a rifle like right away. So the more you increase it, the more accuracy you have. Throwing, let's increase the throwing. I'm not sure if I ever armor increases the armor point to equip better our body armors. Mm, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I mean. <laughs> If we do find good armor, I mean, I, I want to equip it right away, so why not? And the last one, let's spend it on the assault rifle, just in case we do find one. Alright, so that's our character. Taco Charleston. <laughs> Taco Charleston, man. Alright, so what's our party? We do have three people with us. Wow. Alright. Let's call this squad something. I think we can rename the squad, can we? Can we rename the squad? I remember you can. Somehow, you can rename the squad. I was gonna name the Taco One, <laughs> Taco Unit. Well, at least we do have some backup. You know, at least we do have some strong backup with some ARs and stuff. Unlike that other time that I started. So, anyways, let's go over here to this town to get some missions going. Talk to the elder, elder god. Welcome to our village. What can I do for you? Mm, not local rumors, really. Do you have any missions for me? Train soldiers. Uh, I mean, the villagers need some trained soldiers to defend their hometown. Please train one unit of level five, of five level gangster, and send them to. This is actually misspelled, isn't it? Please train one unit of five level gangster or level five gangster. Boy. Well, if we need to train units. There's one way I can do it. I mean, we got 36 out. We can't do that. No, no, no. Fair. Well, do you have any local rumors? People will keep and many animals, especially pigs. The council issues a number of missions from time to time. 
Oh, thank you, Mr. Freaking Strategist. Can we hire people? How much money do we have? We have $12,000. Okay, so we can actually hire people. You know what? I think I might actually do that training thing then. Oh my god, the discrimination is real. <laughs> Why is, is does he cost more than a female? This is weird. That's the first time I encounter this. Okay, let's buy one male and one female. Um, I guess we can buy another female just to make the make up the number here. Okay, so what's in the marketplace? Do we have any guns available? Oh, you know what? With that that amount of money, we can actually buy an AR. Oh my god, man! Four thousand dollars for a freaking side. They there was also actually used to be like three hundred dollars, man. What the hell? Last time I played this like a year ago, a year and a half ago, they used to be cheaper. Let's go to a bear. Maybe we can buy a gun over there. Let's check on our party real quick. Let's add all these people. Why does why do they have a dress? Looks like they're ready to party in the freaking battlefield. <laughs> okay, so now I understand why. Wait, let me see. Pay salary, reward troops, sort of group up. Okay, never mind. So anyways, I think I understand why does the female cost less. They only give him a pistol. Why? And the man has a rifle. Uh, I'm not going to question any kind of discrimination anymore. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get in trouble if I do. It's whatever. Is this the developer's vision? Then let it be, I guess. Barracks. Wait, what did I go here for? I need to go to the marketplace. Buy some weapons. Uh, can I have a rifle at least? What's the cheapest rifle to have? The Remington. That's a shotgun. The Coral. I need to find a good gun. At least a long range gun. Because I know I'm going to stay like far away as possible. AK-76. That's a short range weapon. Oh boy, the AKM. Can I have like a single shot? M416. Ooh la la. The M416. The SVD. You know what? Let's go to another town because this, this town doesn't have really much, much, um, much stuff really. Yeah, nothing good. We gotta, we gotta do some missions. Oh, look at this. Destroy bandit camps, capture, to capture outlaws, eliminate looters. Huh. Many looters groups were spotted in the region. They are threats to local security. Eliminate at least one group so looter come back. To that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We got a we got a killing mission. Train elite snipers. Deliver important fires. We need to someone to deliver important file to Droblin. These files are very important. Okay. We're gonna get some money and some experience points. We gotta go to Droblin. What? Don't attack. What the hell? Can I hire someone else? We do have nine thousand dollars. Cheapest guy is 2000 which is a female militia. Uh, I want to buy that gun, you know, so. Okay, so now we need to find some looters. And we got to go to Droblin, wherever that is. I don't see Droblin anywhere. Siniv, Kassir, Ever, Salavniv, Looter. Where is Droblin? It don't tell me it's like across the freaking map. Oh, okay, yeah, it is the cross of freaking map. <laughs> they, they weren't kidding. It was a cross of freaking map. All that, like, for a few thousand dollars, by the way. Let me first eliminate the looters, and then I'll come back and then head my way to drop them. It's going to be quite of an adventure. All right, let's go. Let's go walk around. Walk around like a boss. Let's see if we can find some looters, too, man, because I need to kill someone. Oh, wait, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on. I need to buy an AR. Hold on. Maybe Salinev have better guns than the, than the other ones that I, that I just encountered. Let's see. Trader weapons. Yeah, yeah, they do. No, actually, they don't. They do have the MP5K. MP5S, I mean. Wasn't, wasn't it called the MP5K? I don't know. The PDR, assault rifle. I mean, I would like to buy a single sh SKKS. Uh-huh. But at the same time, I would like to buy a sight, because without a sight, we're not going to be able to do much. Okay, you know what? Let's speed this up. Let's just get an assault rifle. Screw it. Let's get this one. Start off with that one. i uh, got to pay 9000 Oh, boy. And then 4000 for that. If only I had something. And I also got to buy bullets for it, don't I? 5.56. 5.56. 5.56. 
Let's buy like four. It's gonna cost me five thousand. Holy crap. There we go. Okay, so now we got a gun. Can we get someone from the barracks at least? At least a little bit more backup to fight all these looters that we're about to fight right now. Three thousand, female militia, female militia. There we go. So now we got a party of seven. How to group up. There we go. She still has a pistol, so even if she levels up to that, she's still gonna have a pistol from that far away. Boy, I hope this group stays alive for a long time. <laughs> it doesn't seem like we're gonna survive with a bunch of pistols, especially in this freaking game. Alright. Where's my uh inventory let's put on some PDR on there we go <gasps> no you gotta be kidding so I have it there for nothing oh my lord okay so I bought this for nothing I can't even use it I can only use the goddamn pistol so I gotta leave it to my to the rest of the group to really take down some looters let's go near the looter camp there's eight people over here eight looters come here come here I want a piece of you Hold it right there. Give us 200 salty or you won't get out alive. Pay for it for battle. Alright. 7 versus 8. How do I move actually? WASD, right? WASD. I'm pretty sure R for reload. I haven't even checked the freaking controls. Huh, whatever. Okay, we got the, the squad over here. I'm pretty sure they're going to head out down this way. So this is like a little strategy um, you know, to set up. We can literally just sit up right here on top of the mountain. Pretty good. I'm in position. Okay, that was freaking loud. I'm on it. I gotta lower that down because it's super loud. I'm not kidding. Okay, so we got that going. I'm on it. There we go. Oh my god, dude. I'm like really... I'm not really good with this. There we go. How do you, uh... Okay, there we go. I gotta be very lucky. I just have to make a shot here. Oh, there we go. Reload this crap. Yeah, R is for reload. There we go, another freaking kill. Okay, so this is kind of like my training for now. Before I start going into surgery games, you know, and all that stuff. Oh, there we go. I'm like good with this damn pistol, what the hell? Trust me, I haven't played this game in a long time, you know, I played like shooter games on PC either. I gave them. Target destroyed. How many are left? There's one left. Oh, there he is. Come on. Maybe I should get up and get him. All right, sprint. Okay, so our first victory came out good. Getting a lot of little bit of experience, good amount of credits, two thousand credits. Oh my god. Okay, so we, we also completed a mission along the way. Okay, so we get an Uzi. Okay, we get a mech. Some uh, health kits. We'll be looted a little bit of linens. What the hell is raw amber? What, the hell, what is that supposed to mean? There's a bunch of new stuff here I haven't seen before. Like before the uh, the um, was the early access they didn't have any of this. Yeah, I remember it only had like this and the uh, the tent and the flashlights and the cigarettes and the batteries. But I never found out what the hell they were for. I guess just just they're just for selling. I guess they still have no use. I'm pretty sure this game is still in development. Well, it is in development. 
Uh, 7.62. I don't think I need those, but I'll keep it, I guess. Some cigarettes, some uh, pliers, wire cutters, fishes, some food. Alright, so I took out the looters that I needed to take. I gotta go back. Huh? We can't persuade them at all. We need to increase that skill. We just we can only imprison them. I think we can set them somewhere. Alright, let's go back to the place that we got this mission from. And then from there we should be able to buy another stuff. Yeah.